What we're going to be demoing today is an AI-powered financial advisor. The goal of this demo is to showcase how we can build a modern application using really just two technologies, which is single store as the entire data layer um, and an LLM agent, which is acting as our financial advisor. And the goal of this application is to have it run fully autonomously without really any human oversight. So to get started, we're just going to go ahead and enter our financial information or like our, our information. Just going to put in some dummy values for now. Um, so for my investment goals, I'm going to say I want to get rich off of crypto. And before I click on create my financial plan, I want to call your attention to the navigation tab on the left where we have a welcome tab, a portfolio dashboard, news tracker, AI insights, and live trades. So I'm going to go ahead and click on create my financial plan. And we're going to send all of this info to our to our AI agent, which is going to head which is going to make us a um, AI powered portfolio, as well as add a new tab on the left for crypto investments. Now, if I change my goals and I say I want to buy a house and send my future kids to college, and if I click on create my financial plan, first of all, it's gonna update our investment plan according to these goals, and it's also gonna update the tabs on the left. So now we have mortgage planning, college savings account, and 529, as well as a completely different different investments portfolio. Now here, this is just kind of our basic portfolio dashboard. Um, we're just running probably 10 different queries to power this and having that be displayed to the user in real time. Um, in addition to this, this is really where our agent comes in is on this news tracker tab. So what's going on behind the scenes right now is we're sending an API call to a third party, just like news API. And we're getting all of these different news articles just from today, vectorizing them and inserting them into the database. And then on top of that, we're passing all of these to our agent and getting our market sentiment, which is bearish, and how confident our agent is in our market sentiment. Um, in addition to that, we're showing the user the key factors of like why our market sentiment is bearish. Um, and, then the out and then the market outlook based off of just today's news. Um, so this will change like every day or every couple hours, just depending on whenever the customer wants to log in and check it and get a professional recommendation where if like if they don't have necessarily like the subject matter expertise to like go through this subject matter expertise or the time to go through and just like figure this out on their own. So next up, we have our AI insights staff and just like what's going on behind the scenes here is um we're passing our entire portfolio to our AI agent, and it's generating a summary um, of the portfolio, as well as risks, opportunities, and recommendations, um, just based off of the investment portfolio that we generated on the first page. Um, and all of this is um, like being done on the back end by our AI agent, which is giving people recommendations that traditionally they would have had to go to a regular financial advisor to get. And now we're able to give these to consumers at a much lower total cost, uh, which allows just more people to participate in the financial markets and um, allows businesses to market to customers who they traditionally would not have marketed to. And then finally, for customers who want to time their trades in real time, um, they can actually see, and this is simulated trade data here, um, but they can actually see where the price points that people are buying different stocks at um, as as these trades happen. And we're actually streaming 50,000 events to the database per second. Um, so like if you really wanted to time your trades perfectly, this is a tool that you could use. And we have this for five different stocks. So like in total, I think we're streaming 250,000 events per second to the database on a relatively small instance. And then just to kind of dive on, dive into the back end here, uh, the two main tables that are powering that, or like the two, I guess, non-standard tables are first of all, our live trades table. Uh, this is the table that's powering this dashboard that you see here. And we can just click on another one just to kind of see the difference. Um, so yeah, so we're sorting on our local timestamp, which allows us to um, effective, effectively like load this much data and query this much data in real time. And then finally, our news data. Um, this is our vector type here. Um, so we're inserting like 384 dimension vectors into the database as we're vectorizing that data. 